to Bangladesh where protests uh, against uh, what is happening in the country uh, were held worldwide, particularly in New York City and London in response to the attacks on minorities, particularly Hindus. In Bangladesh, protesters took to the streets demanding an end on the attacks and atrocities on the Hindu community in Bangladesh and demanded protection for Hindus and other minorities in the country. Hundreds of Bangladeshi Hindus hit the streets of Dhaka as well to protest against the spate of targeted attacks against them and vandalization of temples following the fall of the Sheikh Hasina-led government. My colleague Brian Anthony Thomas joins us via the phone line with more details. Brian, we've of course seen sights uh, as we're playing on our screens. These are visuals from outside Westminster in London. Uh, similar such sights in New York, particularly outside the UN office, were also seen. Pia, you know, there has been a lot of protests that was going on in Bangladesh. You know, we've been covering extensively. You know, there have been large protests in, in New York, you talk about London, and even to the fact that there were videos also circulating that Hindus who were living in the UK, many of them has um, an ancestral ties to India alongside Hindu from other countries, were protesting against the atrocities committed against Bengal, Bengali Hindus in Bangladesh as well. There were protests in Dhaka as well, and even there were uh, also a lot of protesters, you know, the minorities were... Um, rallying on Dhaka Shahabad area also that blocked traffic for uh, more than three hours. There were thousands of Muslim protesters also, including students also who joined the rally in solidarity with the minorities who have been, uh, you know, born with the brunt of the violence and destruction following Sheikh Hasina's resignation and, uh, you know, the flight to India that happened on Monday. Since then, yes, uh, post that several Hindu temples, homes, businesses have been vandalized and at least even two Hindu leaders also associated with Hasina Zawami the party has also been killed in the violence that happened. Even to the fact, it's very important to note even, um, you know, uh, VHP, which is uh, Vishwa Hindu Parishad State and District Executive Meeting that happened also addressed uh, the expressing concerns over the dire situation facing by minorities in Bangladesh. Even Alok Kumar also highlighted that these communities have been subjected to targeted attacks, including videotaped murders, atrocities, and even destruction of their, uh, you know, place of worship, businesses, and homes. He also rather made a refer to the statement made by Mohammed Yunus, who is the chief advisor of Bangladesh right now for the interim government, who has called for an end to hostilities against minorities. And also for, uh, further mentioned Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his initial communication with Mohammed Junis that stressed the importance of protecting Hindus and other minorities in Bangladesh. And even Alok Kumar also expressed hope that this advice would be taken seriously and to restore peace and confidence among Bangladeshi Hindus and other minorities. BSP has also put forward several demands which is like the safety welfare of minorities, the families of those who have been suffered losses, including the killing of family members, should be compensated. Those who are responsible for the crime should also be brought to justice and tried and punished according to law. Even VHP, it's very important to know that they have announced uh, the launch of a helpline number also for distressed Bangladeshi Hindus. And even Alok Kumar stated that VHP, which is in coordination with the Indian central government, will do anything possible to assist those in need. Yes, Pia. All right. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast sharing all those details. Meanwhile, viewers, um, Mahindra Sapa from the Vishwa Hindu Parishad of America uh, has also uh, reacted to this. Let's listen in. From the Vishwa Hindu Parishad of America, we have gathered here today to protest against the killings of hundreds of minorities in Bangladesh. And we strongly urge the State Department and White House to have lessons learned from 1971 genocide and make sure that those, are not, those mistakes are not repeated. We strongly urge them to make sure that the culprits are brought to justice in a timely manner and the lives of minorities are protected in a timely manner as well. Meanwhile, a, a protester has also condemned the attack. Let's listen in. I am Priya Saha, came here to talk about the religion and minority situation in Bangladesh, uh, invited by the State Department, and I got chance to meet with President, then President Trump, and I talk about the religion and minority persecution, and since then I am waiting to take any action uh, for the religion and minority to save and secure their life and stop persecution. But, unluckily, uh, 
people here, they are very concerned about the Rohingya Muslim. Muslim. The Bangladesh are welcoming Rohingya Muslim. It's okay. They are uh, persecuted from their land. But when the Hindu, they are the son of the soil of the Bangladesh, they are pushing out. So Bangladeshi people, at the same time, the international community, the White House and the State Department, they are silent. So it's not okay when we saw the, they are not taking care of the Hindu life, Hindu uh, asset, Hindu safety, security, and persecution by the great country, America, they are taking care of everyone except Hindu. So this is the time we request the White House, please take care of the Hindu people, and they are human too. They have human right, and you are working for all. Why not for us? For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.